in this streaming video so here we are going to discuss a special type of puzzle which is the team based puzzle the team based puzzles are frequently being asked in e litmus okay so we need to specially focus on that okay so so before we proceed i strongly recommend you that you get your pen and paper with you because i want you to solve the puzzle with me okay so let's start with the puzzle two different teams of four persons each are to be selected from 12 persons from a through l okay among them six persons a through f play cricket and the remaining persons play football in a team there must be two cricketers and two football players we have to select the team based on the following information so the first point is if a is selected then l should not be selected if b is selected in a team then h must be selected in other team if j is selected in a team then k uh, must be selected in the same team exactly one among c d and k must be selected okay and only if d is selected i can be selected at most one of d and h can be selected okay so this is all we are talking about okay so you have to discuss and you have to decide what to do accordingly okay so you have seen the question and try to read it for yourself try to understand yourself because now we are going to proceed to the solution in case you have not got any hold of the question just pause the video here so that we can proceed further okay so let's take case by case okay let's start solving the questions we need to form two different teams okay each team will have four person out of the four person two will be cricketers and two will be football players okay and we have total 12 persons the 12 persons are a b c d e f g h i j k and l okay so these are the 12 persons okay and among these six persons up to a to f they play cricket okay so these are cricketers these are cricketers okay and the remaining ones are the footballers g h i j k l these guys are the footballers okay okay so we have a b c d e and f as cricketers and g h i j k l as footballers now we need to form two teams having two cricketers and two footballers so uh, we'll represent teams by t1 and t2 okay and we are going to select four players 1 2 3 and 4 okay so we'll be taking that case by case such that the first two spots will be filled up by the cricketer okay and after this colon the next two slots will be filled up by the footballers okay so we are going to discuss this question like that now we need to see all the six conditions okay and then we have to form some kind of cases okay so let us see the first case it says that if a is selected then l should not be selected okay so there are two teams t1 and t2 it means that if a is selected in any of the team then l should not be selected in any of the team okay you should try to understand the meaning of the question very carefully so if a is selected then l should not be selected it means that if a is selected l should not be selected okay so the so second condition is if b is selected in a team then h must be selected in other team okay so if b is selected in the team it means h goes to other team it means if b is selected in team 1 then h goes to team 2 uh, the third condition is if j is selected in a team then k must be selected in the same team okay if j is selected then k comes with it always then fourth condition exactly one among c d and k must be selected okay so there are c d and k okay and out of them 
exactly one must be selected exactly one okay exactly one will be selected exactly one okay only one okay only one will be selected right so then the fifth condition says only if d is selected i can be selected so if d gets selected only then i can be selected in any of the team because it is not specified in which team okay so the sixth condition is at most one of d and h can be selected okay so it says at most one of d and h can be selected so either d can be selected or h can be selected or none none of them can be selected also okay but both d and h cannot be selected at the same time what does the uh, six condition means okay so these are the six conditions i hope you understood all the six conditions okay now based on this uh, these six conditions we have to tackle out the further questions forming the cases okay so let's go ahead let's see the first question so let's see which is the uh, first question Uh, so the first question is who will not be selected okay so the first question is who will not be selected that's the first question okay so this is the question who will not be selected that's our first question so based on the cases we have to see which is the person who is not selected in any of the case okay because we have six conditions and several cases can be found based on these six conditions okay so we have to see case by case we have to see which person can never be selected okay and along with the question there are some options for that the options are a the second option is e the third option is f and the fourth option is l okay so there are four options one two three and four okay so there are four options a e f and l who will never be selected okay so let us see if a e or f can be selected uh, so let us form a case okay let us see a case so we form the teams like uh, here is T1, the team 1, here is T2, the team 2. Okay, and the first two slots are obviously for cricketers. The next two are footballers, similarly for team 2. The first two are cricketers and the next two are footballers. Okay, so we have to see case by case now. Okay, so let us see if a is selected then l should not be selected the first condition is that okay so obviously a and l cannot come together so let us form the two cricketers like suppose there are a and e who is also a cricketer okay and suppose there are uh, other two cricketers let us place any two cricketers in team 2 which can be uh, let us cover this f so that we can see the visibility whether it can come or not in that case so let us form b and f like that okay now going by the first condition this is just an assumption okay we are taking on this is just an assumed case so we have to see whether this case really fulfills the conditions okay and how do we check whether it fulfills the conditions if we are able to fulfill all the team members for both the teams it means that we are meeting up all the conditions of the question okay so here we go now uh, at the first condition if a is selected then l should not be selected so l cannot come so l is there which cannot come l cannot come here in this case okay l cannot come now the second condition says if b is selected then h goes to the other team so h goes to team one because b is in team two okay and it says uh, c d and k 
only one can come okay only one of c d or k can come i mean exactly one must be selected in this case either of c d or k so let us select k and j and k comes together okay so let's place j here okay so here are the two footballers g and k so which are the remaining footballers l cannot be selected and j k already got selected and we can place g here okay so let's place g here and the condition is fulfilled it means there exists a case in which a can also come e can also come because a and e are there f also comes in team 2 so it also got selected okay so in this case l has not been selected okay so is there a case where we can actually select l is there a case okay let us see for that if there is a case suppose l gets selected let us see suppose l gets selected okay so let us form teams accordingly team 1 and team 2 the first two for the cricketers and the next two for the footballers similarly for team 2 the first two for the cricketers and the next two for the footballers okay so here we have to see whether l gets selected or not okay so let's see uh, what happens now okay so here is team uh, 1 t1 and here is team 2 t2 okay so let us see if l can be selected so let us place L may be here. Okay. Now it is given if A is selected and L should not be selected. It means A does not get selected in this case. Okay. A does not get selected in this case. So A cannot come in this case. Okay. So A cannot come in this place. So let us see some other players like let us uh, place other players like d and d d and e are two cricketers let us place them also it is given exactly one of c d or k must be selected in this condition so obviously c and k cannot come here so c will not come and k will not come because d has already been selected okay so a was not there c was not there d and e come here the remaining cricketers in this case are b and f so b comes here f comes here as for the second condition, it is given that if B gets selected, then H goes to the other team. So here we go, H goes to the other team because B is, team, is in team 2. So H goes to team 1. Okay, so H goes to team 1, right? Okay. So which are the remaining footballers? We already have L and H. Now, it says that if D gets selected, I can be selected. Okay. So let's place I here because D gets selected. Okay. If you see the last condition, it says either D or H or none can be selected. It means at most one of D and H can be selected. Okay. But in this case, we have selected D as well as H. So this assumption is wrong. H cannot be selected because D already came here. So H cannot come. Okay, so K cannot come as well as H cannot come. So which are the remaining values? They are G and J. So let us see if G comes here, then J comes here. But it is given that J and K always comes together because as for the third condition, if J is selected in a team, then K must be selected in the same team. Okay, so this assumption is wrong because I is already there. So L cannot be selected because there is no case where I'll get selected. So therefore, this is the correct answer. Option number four. L can never be selected in any of the case. Okay. So this is how we proceed on such kind of questions. Okay. So let's see the second question. Let's see the second question.
Uh, so the second question goes like this if k is selected in team 1 then in how many ways team 2 can be selected okay so let us see okay so here's the question if k is selected in team 1 then in how many ways team 2 can be selected okay so let us see so let us form cases and let us form team 1 okay so here we go team 1 so team 1 we have the case like if k is selected in team 1 and remember that k is a footballer so the first two slots for cricketers and the last two for footballers and k is selected in team 1 as per the question okay and we have to find in how many ways team 2 can be selected okay so k comes here okay so we have to see all the conditions like if you see the first condition if A is selected, then L should not be selected. Okay, so let us form cases, case by case. Let us assume that A comes here in the team 1 and B comes here. So, if A comes here, then L cannot come. Okay, if B goes here, then as per the second condition, then H goes to the other team. Right and let us see what are the other cases let us see if uh, we have those conditions c d and k exactly one of them should come so k has already come it means that c cannot come and d cannot come okay c and d cannot come so we have to solve such kind of questions in a smart way as we have seen in the first question we have solved it in a smart way okay in the first question, it was asked who uh, will not be selected. So we used a counter-intuitive approach. We used a counter approach that suppose L gets selected, okay? And we found a case that L can never be selected. Okay, so that was a counter approach. We used it. So now in this uh, question, we have to see that C and D cannot come. So obviously only two cricketers remaining are E and F. Okay. So E and F comes, and also it is given that if D is selected only then I can be selected in the fifth condition as you can see okay in the fifth condition it is given that if, if D is selected I can be selected so if D is not selected I cannot be selected also okay so we have I and L which cannot be selected the remaining footballers are what the remaining footballers they are J and G and G and K always comes together. So J comes here and G comes here. Okay. Now if you see G and K comes together. So H and G will come together in the second team. Okay. So if you see that if we swap the positions of A, E and F. Okay. Like if A goes to team 2. Okay. A second combination will be formed if A goes to team 2. Okay right and it can be replaced by e so they can swap each other okay similarly we can just swap the positions of this one maybe a and f can swap positions with each other right so these are two possibilities that can be formed here also there is other possibility like if b goes in the team two if B goes to team 2, then H will have to go to team 1 in that case. So that is the third possibility. Apart from that, there is no other possibility if you work out. So there are overall three ways in which to, uh, in which the team 2 can be formed. Okay. 
So this is the way how we solve this question. Right. So let's see the third question. This is a smart way of solving questions, right? So you should notice how we are tackling this. What is the actual approach? So the third question is which of the following is a possible team? So it asks that which of the following is a possible team? Okay, uh, so uh, which following? I mean, what are the options? So let's see what are the options for that. So the option one is J, K, E, and F. Option two is E, D, J, and G. Option number uh, three is A, B, J, and H. Option number four is H, A, E, and G. Okay. So, which of the following is a possible team? You have to see that. Okay. So let us see which of the following can be a possible team. Okay, as we have seen above, if you see carefully, if A comes, as we have seen in the second question, if you see, if A comes in the place of F, we have considered that as one of the way in which team 2 can be formed. So if A comes here, so A comes here, so it means EAHG, which is EAHG. That is a possible team. So clearly we can work out that HAEG is a possible team from question number 2 itself. So we can clearly say that it is a possible team and option 4 is the answer. Okay, these are the shortcuts you have to focus on. These are the ways you have to work on because you don't want to spend your time unnecessarily. Working out just assumptions and working out cases and cases, you have to work out smartly. As you have already seen that HAEG is already a combination, we can straight away just take that. Okay, so this is how you form it. Right, so uh, we go to question number 4. It says if J is selected, okay, if J is selected in a team, then who among the following must be selected in that team okay so if j is selected in a team then who among the following must be selected in that team okay so uh, which are the options the options are jk uh, the options are b to the first option The second option is E. The third option is F. And the fourth option is A. Okay, so if J is selected in a team, then who among the following must be selected in the same team, in that team? Okay, out of them. Uh, we are already given the condition that J and K must be in the same team, but here you can see K is not given in the option. So who is the other one who's already uh, who's always getting selected when K is getting selected? If you see that, okay. So who is that person who is always getting selected when K is getting selected? So just work out the ways. See the above scenarios. Who is the common one with K? If you see. Okay, if J is selected in a team, then who among the following must be selected in that team? So, if you see the question 2 itself, J is getting selected, K is getting selected with it. You can see that, so if you see carefully, 
which is always uh, always coming with j we have seen that some cases are formed based on question number 2 that a can be swapped with e a can be swapped with f to form more combinations but if you see b always comes with j so if you see that in the question 2 i am talking about so if b goes into team 2 in that case h and g comes in team 1 and k and j shift to team 2 okay so if b goes to team 2 j all, uh, always goes to team 2 it means that b always is with j okay so b always comes with j we can say that so this is how smartly you can solve question using other inbuilt questions and using the already seen scenarios because you don't need to form more and more cases otherwise you would miss out your examination you will not be able to attempt all the questions so solve smartly solve every question smartly okay so let's see more let's see the fifth question okay If the persons who are not selected form a team, then what is the team? Okay, if the persons who are not selected form a team, what is the team? So we have actually several persons who can never be a part of the team. Okay. So we have to work out on those persons. So the options are C D I L. The second option is C D G K. The third option is A E G I. The fourth option is none of these. Okay. So you got the question do you got the puzzle okay can you solve this question yourself because in order to solve this question you have to cover up all the cases so that is a challenge can you solve the question yourself this is a challenge question and with every challenge comes a reward so try to solve this question yourself okay try it so here we go you have seen the challenge question and there's a reward for that okay Just answer the challenge question in the comment box below and you will get 15 percent discount on our premium content on teachmycourse.com so you will actually get 15 percent discount when you actually try to purchase the course okay so that's a pretty good news also as we have already informed in the previous video we will be live streaming every monday and friday at 7 pm indian standard time so you will be getting a streamed video on YouTube okay if you want to get free PDF and practice exercises for this topic of the video just visit teachmycourse.com description link can be found below the link is given in the description below okay in order to get the free PDF you have to visit this teachmycourse.com you have to sign up on the website and enter your whatsapp number the option to enter your number is given under profile settings okay just enter your whatsapp number once you complete the procedure we will send you the free pdf for this exercise and we will provide you practice exercises and quizzes on teachmycourse.com all free of cost those are free of cost materials in order if you have some uh, further inquiry you can just email us on info at teachmycourse com and we will be pretty happy to help you okay do you want next topic of the streamed video of your choice just comment below you demand and we will fulfill whatever you demand we will make a video on that topic only okay and of course on monday we will have your doubt clearing session as well okay so goodbye and happy learning do not forget to solve that challenge question okay just solve